Good afternoon, everyone. T-Speaker 222 XRP Future Millionaire with the side bet on x and Future Digibyte. Oh, gee, so it's 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast in the great state of Michigan. So I want to play a little bit of uh, more upbeat music. So <coughs> we'll lead into the show with this. So, okay, so we got to go into the charts real quick. I'm not going to keep your time for long, but... What I can show you is I've been waiting for the half hour to bring this level. It looks like we're starting to build that structure we've been waiting for all day. But we need something to, you know, bring us down even farther than we were before. I drew what I consider to be a support line currently. So it bounced over that, which was actually pretty beautiful because I had the 32,001 something line that I set up at one under. It could be danger unless it bounced right over, and it did, but it created a left shoulder, and now it looks like it's in the head formation. So I didn't say anything earlier, but that's what it seemed like it was doing, but I needed a little more data. And when we got that nice little spike up from 32.4 to about 32.7, it's finishing off pretty much this pattern that I needed it to, or 32.8. I almost got the 33, but right now we're in 32.8, whatever range. With Bitcoin, that's what we needed to prove how, that it was making a head formation. Same thing with XRP. No different with XRP. I have those lines on there for a reason that I thought it could trade in between, and I told you, you guys are going to see that sideways action and then the descending on the bottom, and you were going to see how it was going to play between it. You see how it bounced right up, but this looks like nothing more than a blow-off. Hit that uh, lower support at, well, it's mid-support at $0.58 cents overnight. Shot up by about $0.04, cents, you know, 4 5 6%. But now it's starting to look like it's getting ready to round the top. There's no volume, guys, to support a move. So this is why I say this is where dead money goes to die, and it's going to continue to build structures to go down. But once we get below that 58 cents, it's a steep drop to 52, and then it figures it out from there. So that's a big difference in portfolio from here. You're down a good 20, 25%, if not more. And that would be just the mistake of buying right now. The most likely probability with XRP, let me get my handy dandy new pen that I love very, very much. So, turn it on. All right, so the most likely probability is you, with XRP is if no volume comes in, you could even do this and bounce over the moving average, but then you're gonna come down pretty quickly and just stair step down. And then you're gonna move down farther along the pattern. It's very, it's it's possible that this is already rounding the top right here and then it would come down to a shoulder and then work his way in a descending fashion but it doesn't have much room left off the top here at all came down to prove that this new uh resistance level at this level that was being support as you know the last few days is now in fact resistance not even thirty three thousand. now is resistance it's about 32.8 so it, it's going to be detrimental once these break out XLM's doing the same thing. That was my line that I put up there that I thought it was gonna, you know, work in an ascending fashion. It just missed it, but it hit the same levels I was talking about. <coughs> and now it traded back over the ascending uh, support. But with XLM, the most logical thing, this has already come around. This is either the head or it's gonna come up one more level, create it something like this, and then work its way down and then further. And it's going to end up, you know, down below that level. At or below 20 cents. So, or this is already the head and it's rounding it already. And then it's going to come down in a quicker fashion. But it's got to build some, you know, it's got to build a little bit on the way down. DGB, same thing. DGB looks like it followed the, they all moved that, followed the moving average in the 30 minute beautifully. No volume though is the only problem. Which means the most likely thing for DGB is probably a little blow off the top, and then it's going to work its way back down. It bounced off my support line beautifully. It traded between the two that I told you that it was either going to go in a downward or upward fashion right there because it had to build a structure to come farther down. So people are like, oh, it made a bounce. Did it? Or is this just creating the structure to make that bigger fall possible? I tend to lean to the second. And then... Which one do I want to end? With XDC. We'll do XDC. Guys, be very careful. Like I always tell you with XDC, it, it came around. It could be very well a hip. 
shoulder and I would expect maybe a little more on the head maybe try to push that 10 cent mark one more time because I don't necessarily think that's a rounding top for the head I think that something like this is going to happen and then it's going to come down farther than where it was at and look for that 6.8 to be tested on this next drop if you get to that 6.8 guys I see a 1x on XDC up to about 13 cents if it can play this right <laughs> before a farther class below 6.8 that's why I'm saying these are portfolio killers. Even if you make a 1X on this bounce, not yet when we go down to the support levels, you have to get out very, very quickly or you lose all those gains. So t speaker 222 XRP, Future Millionaire, with the side bet on XLM and Future Digibyte OG. So guys, I want to end with this. I want to thank each and every one of you. Join Tom's Army, $9.99 a month. Become part of the most exclusive and elusive subscription-based service on YouTube. Help get me here full time. We're up to 215 or 16 subscribers of Tom's Army. Each one of you, I personally want to thank each and every one of you. You keep me moving, you keep me motivated, and you allow me to get this content out here free for all. That's my mission, as you all know. I want to keep this free for everybody with the generosity of everybody who supports me and joins Tom's Army along the way. Obviously not required, but it actually helps me to be able to get away from my five other teaching jobs because I teach technical analysis. I'm not a financial advisor. Should you take my advice? No, but I do teach classes to put you in a position without the fancy title. I'm self-made, self-taught, and what I do works. I have evidence for the last four months to prove it. You're either with me, you get with it, or get the fuck out. That's the model of this channel. And what that means is you can get with the teachings, you can get with the chart reading, and you can get with the family feel orientation of the community. Or you can get the fuck out, plain as day, period, point blank. So stay true, stay blessed, and I'll leave you with this. Sunny days. Sunny days. Here again. Sunny days. Here again. Sunny days. Here again. Sunny days. Here again. I wear glasses cause I'm so cool I can predict the charts Sunny days, here again Sunny days, here again Sunny days, here again Sunny days Join Tom's Army for $9.99 a month